So hi everyone, last time I was sitting in a demo class of a biology teacher and the teacher was explaining about cell division. So in my mind I was thinking why do cells divide? Well the answer of that usually that you get is cells divide in order to grow or in order to repair the damaged cells, right? So in order to grow or repair, so for that reason cells are dividing to grow basically. But I was thinking to grow, why not sing? one cell only keeps becoming bigger and bigger, that way also it can grow. Why it has to divide only? So then you find that there is a very interesting mathematics in this. So what mathematics is there? Well, if you think carefully, think this is a cell, spherical in shape whose radius is r. So this is a cell, right? Now, when the cell becomes bigger and bigger, the radius increases, isn't it? The radius is increasing and when the cell becomes bigger, you need more food and oxygen to maintain the life of this cell, right? And that food and oxygen, that nutrients has to come from outside and it has to enter where? It has to enter the cell through what? Through the surface, remember. So the material has to come through the surface. Now in mathematics, you know the volume of a sphere increases as r cubed. You must be remembering the volume of a sphere formula, right? 4 by 3 pi r cubed. So r cubed. When a surface area of a sphere increases as r square, the formula is 4 pi r square. So now when radius increases, you can see volume increases more times than area because there is a cube. Let me give you an example. So when radius goes from 1 to 2 to 3, area will go from 1 square 1, 2 square 4, 3 square 9, whereas volume will go as 1 cube 1, 2 cube 8, 3 cube 27. So when radius increases 3 times, area increases 9 times, whereas volume increases 27 times. So volume is increasing more number of times. And the food has to be in the volume itself, isn't it? The food items, whatever is there, isn't it? So when volume increases, to maintain the life, you need more nutrients, you need more food to come inside. Now where the food will come from? from the area. But area is not increasing that many times. So do you see a problem here or not? You are asking for more material to come inside when you become bigger. You are asking for more material to come inside when you become bigger. But the materials are coming from the surface and the surface is not sufficient to maintain, to get that much food. So what nature has to do in order to sustain the life of the cell? Well, somehow it has to increase the surface area so that more food or oxygen can enter. So how it will do that? Well, understand this very uh, simple mathematics. Imagine you have two cubes and the side of these cubes for simplicity, I have taken one unit. Okay, so this is one unit. All the sides are one, 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 one. And let us say these two combine to form a bigger cuboid. What will be this length? Well, this is 1, this is 1. So this length will be 2, isn't it? Other sides will be obviously same as this one. 1 and 1. So this is 1, 1. But this side became 2 because I have combined them this way. Now, what is the area of this cube? The total surface area of the cube. For that, you should know area of a square. Area of a square is what? If I give you a square whose side is A, then area of the square is side square. For rectangle, we write length into breadth. Here, length is also A, breadth is also A. So, A into A, A square. So, this A side will have what area? 1 into 1. So, this area is 1 into 1 here. What? 1 into 1 is 1, right? So this area is 1. What about this side? That is also 1. What about the back side? That is also 1. What about the this side, left side here? That is also 1. What is the top side? That is also 1. The bottom side? That is also 1. So the area of this cube, the surface area is 6. Similarly, surface area of this is 6. 
right so what is the total surface area of this individually if they were separate what would be the total surface area 6 plus 6 which would be 12 whereas here what would be the area let us call this a dash right so if you look carefully this side is 1 into 1 so 1 plus this bottom side is remember 1 into 2 because this length is 2 so 1 into 2 2 plus this side is 1 into 1 top side is again 2 into 1 2 back side if you see back side then this length is 2 this breadth is 1 so back side area this back side area this one that is also 2 and this front side this front side this front side right so this area is also 2 into 1 2 so what is the total area of this single cuboid 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus, 2 plus 1 plus 1 that will be 10 so now notice something if this cuboid divides into two cube you can see the area has increased and that is what we want to remember but we want the volume to be same right let's check what is volume of a cube you must be knowing from your class 10 mathematics volume of a cube is side cube or length into breadth into height in a cube all the sides all the sides are same so length is also a breadth is also a height is also a so volume will be a into a into a which is a cube so what is volume of this side is one so one cube which is obviously one itself what is volume of this cube one itself so what is the total volume of these two cubes together one plus one that is two now what is volume of this cuboid this single cuboid v dash let me say now this is length here two breadth here one height here is also one so length is two breadth is one height is one so this is so can you see that the volume did not change so we did not increase the volume so this is what nature knows right so by dividing a cell let us assume this is a cell if this cell divides into two cells the volume remains same which is what we want we don't want the volume to increase but we wanted the area to increase so that more food can enter the cell right 